one. Hardcore title on the line with a spectacular Rob Van Dam. Hardcore Championship in the ring, representing the Alliance, weighing in at 235 pounds, is the Hardcore Champion, Rob Van Dam. He's from the Alliance, he's the WWE Hardcore Champion, but he's got fans all over the place. He's a high flyer and he's spectacular, RVD. He is Van Dam good. And weighing in at 217 pounds, Jerry Damn right, this is not the first time that these two have met. And Jerry Lynn has fought Rob Van Dam for the ECW Heavyweight title and for the ECW TV title. And they have had some hell of a battle. Speaking of that TV title, Rob Van Dam retired undefeated 23 months as ECW TV champion. He held that without being beaten. And that's not an easy thing to do because believe me, the referee in ECW was basically there just for ornamentation. You could basically do, just like a hardcore match, anything, and I mean anything you wanted in that ring. Now, Rob Van Dam knocked down a Jerry Lynn. A lot of people know about RVD, but tell us a little bit about Jerry Lynn, Al Snow. What is it that makes Jerry Lynn tip? Jerry, Jerry's been a, he's a veteran. The guy has been around for years. Everybody says he's too small. But I tell you what, this guy busts his hind in and works harder than any other competitor in that ring. And he's going to give Rob Van Dam a run for his money in this matchup here, Sunday Night Heat. Hardcore title on the line, no hard barred, falls count anywhere for the hardcore title. Many of the same rules which will apply tomorrow night, live on Roy's War, 9-8 Central on TNN from Anaheim, California, when Shane McMahon meets The Rock. Shane McMahon back in the spotlight, back for his moment in the sun, back for him to take his step out of his dad's shadow. Oh, look at this. Up over the side Gary Lynn almost decapitates Rob Van Dam. See what I mean? People take Jerry Lynn for granted, and he comes up with innovative moves, and he'll risk himself. Oh, look at that. Oh. Over the top knocked down RVD. I'll tell you, all this is perfectly legal. So is this pinball. Here's the hook of the leg, too. Got it. No. Two. Kick out by RVD. Falls count anywhere in this type of matchup. One night I saw these two wrestling at a show in ECW, and Rob Van Dam was knocked three to four rows back into the crowd, and Jerry Lynn literally ran off the ring apron off across the table and dove head first into the tunnel to RVD. We talked about Jerry Lynn, but let's talk about RVD. When he made his debut just a few weeks ago at Invasion, the fans came out of their seats. Look at Jerry Lynn taking Rob Van Dam out. Perfect example of what I was talking about. What is it about Rob Van Dam now as Jerry Lynn favors that knee? What is it about RVD that has this cult following the fans? Rob Van Dam is an incredible athlete. He was a former kickboxer, and the guy was trained by Seth Rollins. Like Jerry Lynn kick out of who was known as the human highlight reel. The guy would do anything, sacrifice his body in any way to get a win, to make himself stand out. And Rob Van Dam has taken that lesson to heart and does it every time he goes out in the ring. Well, he has not only Alliance fans, but WWF fans cheering for his activities as well. As Jerry Lynn picks up a steel chair, perfectly legal in a hardcore matchup, shot to the back of Rob Van Dam, and Jerry Lynn would love nothing better than to bring that hardcore title back to the World Wrestling Federation, just like Kurt Angle wants to bring the WWF title back to the World Wrestling Federation at SummerSlam. It all comes down to bringing back what is rightfully ours, oh. what truly belongs to us, the WWF wrestlers, the WWF fans, the WWF company. That hardcore title belongs here. Oh, look at Jerry Lynn in trouble, slammed out of that steel chair. Never before in the long history of the World Wrestling Federation has the WWF title been out from this organization. Nobody home RVD hits the steel chair. Kurt Angle talks about wanting to be a leader, wanting to make a mark for himself, wanting to stand up for the WWF. How much pressure is on this Olympic hero heading into San Jose at SummerSlam two weeks from tonight? But let's face it, the guy excels under pressure. Who else could have went to the Olympics and for the first time in history of the Olympics still oh, looking at now? The run, he may have him! Kick out after two. And Rob Van Dam reverses two, into a cover of his own. Another one, kick out. Jerry Lee cover. Rob Van Dam reversal. Two, high quiet action here. Here's another one, two, and a kick out. I just want to point out they're not flying too high right now. Well, not, not yet, but okay. look out now. Oh, big shot. May have him. Here's the bridge and a kick out by RVD. Rob Van Dam in half. We were talking about Kurt Angle. Let's talk a little bit about Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, we've seen the goofy, so to speak, Stone Cold. 
playing guitar, wanting hugs, eating cookies in the center of the ring. But let's not forget, the Rattlesnake is an extremely dangerous individual. He is still the toughest SOB out there, and he is going to pridefully try to keep that WWF title in the line. Well done. They don't call him the rattlesnake for nothing. And you treat the man just like you would a rattlesnake. If you pick up a rattlesnake, you're taking your chances on getting bit. And with Stone Cold Steve Austin, oh, oh, well, well, perfectly legal. Hard you're doing the exact same thing. Rob Van Dam with a legal maneuver. That low blow to Jerry Lynn follows it up with a clothesline. And now RVD may be setting Jerry Lynn up for some high-flying maneuver. Perhaps it'll bring this crowd out of its feet. Rob Van Dam, top rope, balances, and Jerry Lynn counters. Steel turn to the gut of Rob Van Dam. Went for the split-legged moonsault and it backfired on him. Rob Van Dam in serious trouble. And Jerry Lynn looks to take the hardcore title back. He's got a no kick out by RVD. I just want to point out, I love hardcore matches. You're a former hardcore champion. I was, I am still the crown prince of hardcore. You the are? No, man. I thought you said the, the crown, crown prince No, hardcore. no, the crown prince. No, but seriously, you were a tremendous hardcore champion. What, what kind of strategy do you use in this type of match? Oh, there goes that kickboxing background right there. Bob Van Dam has got so much flexibility. He can put his legs up around his ears like Bud Clint. Well, Rob Van Dam, is he going to climb? He is. Top rope, Jerry Lynn. So fun his counter. But now, what do you do in this type of matchup? Is there any type of strategy, hardcore style? You just go all the way to the wall. You do whatever you can. You do whatever you take. You try to be as creative as you can with the different objects. Because let's face it. Anybody can hit somebody with a chair, but to use that chair in a lot of different fashions that your opponent is not going to expect you to do, much like Jerry Lynch doing an attempt right here. I'll go in for a superplex on Rob Van Dam. steel chair. Jerry Lynch, small back for Rob Van Dam, top rope. Oh. And the crowd come to its feet. People are going. My frog splash to Jerry Lynn. Took a lot out of Rob Van Dam as well. And not just the frog splash, but the frog splash on top of the chair. Here's one number, two, three. And he retains the hardcore title. Here is your winner, and still, World Wrestling Federation hardcore champion, Rob Van Dam. I don't give a damn who he's affiliated with. Rob Van Dam is flat out exciting. You don't give a Van Dam who he's affiliated with. He's good. Check this out. Five star frog splash. He's doing exactly what a hardcore champion has to do. Take any against your opponent. Rob Van Dam, big victory to hold on to the hardcore title for the Alliance. And folks, coming up next,